Hello and welcome back to Daily Draw. Uh, it's been about a week since my last one, and I do apologize for that. I know I did say Daily Draw, but it just just wasn't happening over the past couple of days, and I do apologize for that. Uh, well, this today I got a random suggestion off the internet for a wizard with beard and eyebrows. Of course, most wizards have eyebrows, but yeah, I figured they meant like old, uh, you know, your your classic wizard, which is kind of what I went for. Um, I mean, it's not kind of what I went for. It is what I went for. I, I went for your classic, um, you know, your classic uh, Merlin-style Disney wizard with the long beard and the uh, big nose and the crazy eyebrows and the pointed hat. Um, I had a little bit of a, of a hunch, of a hunchback just to, uh, you know, flavor it up a little bit, but I gave him a, a walking stick uh, and a nice blue comfy robe and I originally gave him like stomping boots, but then I changed it to uh, pointy shoes. Um, I don't really know what else to say, which I probably shouldn't admit to on recording, but uh, yeah, it was... Um, yeah, I, I, uh, I've always liked Wizards. If, I, if there's a, a video game or even, even tabletop like D&D or Pathfinder, I, I always usually try to play a, a wizard of some flavor. Um, I don't know, I always liked the idea of wizards, you know, the whole um, fighting things or fighting with, like, your mind and, like how, like, how much you know and, like, the intellectualism of it. I've always really liked that. That knowing the world, knowing how the world around you functions, allows you to manipulate it, and you know, use that to defend yourself or protect your friends or do whatever you need to do. Um, to you know, sometimes save the world or make a little cash on the side. You know, I mean, if I could cast prestidigitation, I'd I'd be doing that all fucking day. I tell you that, free. Yeah. You know? <laughs> I, I always like wizards. You know, the idea of wizards is it's it's fantastic to me. The idea of magic to me is, is fantastic as well. It's it's it, it it would be so cool if any of that like any of that was real. You know, and that that, that saddens me. You know, I mean. But then again, I take my cell phone and I went back 500, or not even 100 years, like 100 years with my cell phone. It's just like, hey, look at this thing I have in my hand. At any moment, I can take a full color picture of you. Or I can access all of human knowledge. Or I can watch a, a cartoon or a film on my phone. You know, I can talk to people on the other side of the planet with this thing. And that that's kind of... That's kind of magic, you know. That's that's modern magic, you know. And they're they're coming up with new sciences and medical stuff all day. Like they're, you know, they're talking about living forever, and, you know, photocopying your brain into robots and robotic arms and growing organs for transplants and you know, and they're they're building colonies on Mars and, you know, we have our own flavor of magic. It's just you know. I can't throw fireballs, <laughs> which admittedly is not a power I would want to give to the masses, because uh, then every bar fight would end with a explosion and a building burning down, which is you know bad. <laughs> unless you're unless we built an economy around that kind of thing, but then that then it's a whole different conversation. Anyways, uh, we're getting to the end of the draw. It took me, I don't know, an hour, hour and a half, a little longer than that to do this. Uh, was not kind of, ooh, the save menu is there. Anyways, I forgot to edit that out. Too bad, we're already here. Uh, and there's the finished drawing. I would not say it is complicated, but it did take me a while to do it. Uh, 
So there it is. Uh, thank you for watching, and I really do hope you forgive me about skipping a few days, and I'll see you next time. Bye.